that way we have learned that is what is geometry our section that is partition product this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant there is plus plus there is minus plus there is minus minus and there is plus minus and important thing is in your class that there is distance formula section formula number 3 midpoint number 4 period of time period of time today we will start this exercise in exercise in exercise questions are given that is collinear now question is what is collinear if let one coordinate 1 comma 2 b is Three comma two. C is five comma seven. If questions are given, whether it is a collinear or not, first you have to find distance of a b. You will get one value. Distance of b c. Then you will get another value. And distance of c a. Also you will get another value. If all the values are same, then it is a collinear. If There is four, and there is four, and there is five. There is two or you get that it is not a collinear. If all the values are same, then it is a collinear. Then another question. Questions are given. Suppose in triangle A B C. A suppose five comma three, B seven comma four, and C suppose seven comma eight. Whether it is an isosceles triangle or not. Ask how if you find distance of AB. If you plot suppose four, distance of BC suppose five, and distance of AC suppose seven. Now it is an isosceles or not? No, it is a scalar triangle because there is distance is four, there is five, there is seven. If there is four, if there is four, then AB equal to BC. If AB equal to BC, two sides are equal. Then we can write AB equal to BC, not equal to Then it is an isosceles triangle. If it is an equilateral triangle, then there is four. There also it should be four. Then AB equal to BC equal to what? CA equal to four. Then we can write it is an equilateral triangle. Now in your syllabus, first question it is given. So find find the distance of find the distance of two comma three and four comma one. Another question, question number three, which is important also, one three. Find the distance of suppose coordinate to A, A comma B, and coordinate to B minus A comma minus B. How to find out the distance of this two? Then you try to find out our formula distance formula x one minus x two whole square plus y one minus y two whole square. Now x one minus x two. That is x one is A. This is minus. If minus is minus, is minus is plus a whole square plus y one is b minus one is plus b whole square. Now a plus a twice the whole square twice the whole square. Four is square. Four b square. Now we can take here four common a square plus b square. What is the value of square root of four? That is two. Two into root of one square plus b square. That is what is the distance of any? That the answer is two into root of one square plus b square. Question number three. One question is given. That is determine the points one comma five, two comma three, one comma five, two comma three, and another point is. That is minus two comma minus one. Minus two comma minus one. It is a collinear or not? That is that it is A. This is B, and this is C. Now, 
डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए बी वन माइनस टू पोस्टर पास फाइव माइनस थ्री ना वन माइनस टू डेट इस माइनस वन पोस्टर पास फाइव माइनस थ्री डेट इस टू टू स्क्वेयर डेट इस वन स्क्वेयर वन टू स्क्वेयर फोर डेट इस रूट ऑफ़ फाइव ना डिस्टेंस ऑफ बी सी डेट इस टू प्लस टू पोस्टर पास थ्री माइनस पास वन पोस्टर तो डेट माइनस माइनस नाइन से पास Two plus two, four square, four square. That is four square sixteen. That is sixteen. That is twenty. Now C A. Minus two minus one, four square plus minus one minus five. Minus one minus five, four square. That is minus three four square minus six four square. Minus two whole square is three square nine. Yeah, six square thirty six. Six three square nine. Six square thirty six. That is forty five. Forty five. Now therefore, AB not equal to BC not equal to C. Therefore, this this is not a collision. It is not a collision because all the all the sides are. आने के लिए एक ही नोटिकल को, इसी नोटिकल को, सी। नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर। क्वेश्चन नंबर। नंबर फोर। सिमिलर क्वेश्चन इसके लिए। वन फोर्टी डिग्रीज सपोज वन ट्राइंगल। ए, बी, सी। वन ट्राइंगल इस One comma five. Another point is two comma three. Another point is minus two. Another point is seven comma minus two. One one point is another point is two comma three. Another point is seven comma minus two. Now, 
questions are given whether it is a particular or not. Whether it is a particular or not. A suppose B, C, and D. You get four points. Four points you get. If AD suppose to BC to CD to FAD to then all the sides are equal. If all the sides are equal, we can say that it is a rhombus or square. Now, questions are asking whether it is a which type of quadrilateral. Then which type of quadrilateral? Then after that, we need to find this BD and AC. If BD and AC are equal, then we can say that it is a square. If AC and BD are unequal, then we can say that it is not and it is a rhombus. If another a point, b point, c point, d point. If a to b suppose three, b to c suppose four, c to b five, a to d suppose seven. All the sides are unequal. That it is not a quadrilateral. Okay. Now question number suppose seven. Question is given. Find the point on the x-axis. This equidistant from two comma minus five and minus two comma nine. Two comma minus five and minus two comma nine. Two comma minus five and minus two comma nine. Suppose this is A and this is B. But question is given. Find the point on the x-axis. What is the equation of x-axis? What is the equation of x-axis? Therefore. Equation of x axis that is y equal to zero. Remember what is the equation of x axis? Y equal to zero. If equation of x axis y axis then x equal to zero. Now question is given equation of x axis that is y zero. Then another point we can write suppose p. Another point we can write x axis that is y zero. In place of y is zero, x comma zero we can write. Question is given x axis. X axis that is y zero. In place of y, this is x axis. This is y axis. Zero that is b x that is x comma zero. If you draw or write, there is b x comma zero. Suppose a is two comma minus five. B is minus two comma nine. Minus Two comma nine. Question is given. This is the this point that is P is equidistant from these two. That is B. We can write if this question is equidistant by equation or any other equation. We can write F equal to what? B P. If F equal to B P, that is we have to find equidistant two minus x whole square plus minus five minus zero whole square B P. That is Root over two minus x whole square plus minus five minus zero whole square. B P is x plus two whole square plus zero minus nine whole square. Zero minus nine whole square. Now there are also there are also If you write squaring on both side, if you write squaring on both side, then the root cancel. This is our final square. S square minus twice ten plus two square, and this is twenty five minus five minus zero. That is minus zero. Minus five square. That is twenty five. Similarly, x square plus four x plus four. X square to the power four. Four. That is it is eighty one. X square x square. Cancel. 4 four cancel. This is minus 4x plus 4x. If you sign change, there is there is minus there is 81 minus 21. This is minus 8x. You can go 56. There is x equal to 56 by minus 8. There is x equal to minus 7. Therefore, the our coordinate is we are going to write our coordinate is minus. Seven comma zero. That is minus seven comma zero. 
another question, question number 8. Similarly, question number 8. Question is given, find the value of y. This equidistance from the point pq equal to 1, 10 cm. That is, pq equal to 1, 10. Here to find distance of p and what? q. q point is 2 comma s width and q point is 10 comma what? pq. That is, 2 minus 10 whole square root over plus minus 3 minus 1 whole square equal to 10. Then squaring on both sides into then you will get one value that is y calculated. Now question number similar question number 9 is there. We will move you to question number 10. Question number 10. Question number 10 is find a relation between x and y. Find a relation between x and y such that the point x comma y is equidistant from the point 3 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 4. One point is suppose A, there is B. Suppose there is P. P is written there is x comma y. A is two points are given, 1, 3, 6. And another is minus 3 comma 4. Then we can write AP equal to what? AP is P minus X whole square plus 6 minus Y whole square. AP is X plus 3 whole square plus Y minus 4 whole square. After that, we do square on both sides. Square root cancel, square root cancel, simplify. You will get one equation, which is the relation between X and Y. After that,